great takeaway again that changed the, the momentum at that time. Well, this is one of those tough games, Coach, where you had lost a couple of players, obviously the injury, one suspension, come up here with USC and Arizona State looming large in the future, and people called it a trap game, and yet your team fought through it and really finished the job. Well, I, I think calling a trap game is, is a disservice to Washington. They're a good football team. They work very hard. They've got a great player at quarterback, and they've got some weapons too, Lewis Rankin at Russo. I mean, they, they did some things. Again, we wore them down. Uh, with our offense, and again, I, that's a credit to our guys up front. They did a great job. And we can speak about no injuries this game. No injuries that I know. Of. There's, there's accumulated bumps and bruises, but no serious injuries, and that's maybe the best news of all. And lastly, with Jonathan Stewart, uh, close to 250 yards rushing and a lot of carries, is this something you feel like you're going to have to do each game? And you know, he hasn't done that yet this year. No, I, we talked to him during the week and said, you know, you're going to have to carry a little bit more load. Not was a little bit more than we wanted, but overall, he did a great job, and you know, he's capable of doing that. Obviously, I'd, I'd like to limit that a little bit, but we need him tonight. He came through. So, I, you know, he's 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 a stud. That's all I'll say. Road wins are huge in the Pac-10. You got one up here, now back home against SC. So, you know, it's a good feeling for your team, obviously, to go back home with a huge game. It is. And it's, as I said, that was a vote of confidence for our team because we were we were challenged and we responded and, and answered the bell. Okay, Coach. Well, congratulations. We'll talk to you next week after the SC game. Thank you. All right, big win up here, Jerry. Let's go to Washington Huskies. I think it's a no-brainer. I, I think, again, you know, we didn't throw the ball as well tonight as I thought we could have, but we did run the football, and certainly I think the pace of the game was to our like it, liking in the second half. And, you know, they, I think they were getting tired, in all honesty. And we, that was what we do. We keep the pace up. We ran the football. We did a great job. And a lot of people carried the ball, and we, we had the kids respond. But our, give credit, all the credit to our offensive line. I did. I, 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 I talked about all we were doing is staying in this race. We're, we're in it to win it. And obviously, the only thing we worry about, we don't worry about anybody else's score but our own. You didn't miss your, your three three starting offensive players, including Jeremiah Johnson. Did you, was that almost a surprise that you didn't miss a Jeremiah Johnson this game? No, we miss those guys. Don't, don't, don't be fooled. We miss those guys. We'll miss those guys all season long. But we had some young men step up and do an awesome job. And Aaron Flugrad, Andre Crenshaw, the two that we talked about that needed to, I think, did in a big way. What about their 31 points, a little bit more than what you wanted? What, what was happening there? Uh, just some broken plays or what? Uh, it, it was really just some lapses in coverage, and they were not, it wasn't mistakes. We just didn't do a very good job of covering some people. We had, uh, it, it was not a call situation. It was just our uh, execution of our own techniques. And, again, that, that was frustrating. As I said, sometimes I think the mobility of their quarterback, Jake Locker's ability, I think a lot of times we had one eye on the receiver and one eye on Jake Locker. And, again, that probably contributed. We had a couple guys that we, we didn't do a very good job of covering.